Hey, oh, hello. Been uh, at it this afternoon. I uh, came up with a uh, little project. Um, we went ahead and uh, got started on it. Um, all the basics. I haven't cleaned anything up and. Uh, Made a mess out of some of it because just like using scraps here to kind of make prototype and uh, getting the rust out of these two inside the tubes is tough and when you got a weld in there it makes a mess. Anyway, we're got this uh, ammo can and I was going to make a I don't know, a more uh, I kind of considered the other one. Uh, Portable, so I've been calling this one a pocket rocket, but I'm not good at figuring out names. So. Anyway, what we have here, uh, you can uh, see down in there the mess it makes uh, when you try to MIG weld uh, rusty metal, and my little fuel shelf here got slipped on me when I was tacking and so uh, not very proud of that job but uh, just like all of our other ones use the same angle here um, without measuring it hold on I'll grab it I got an old uh, adjustable square here, but uh, I use it kind of throwing around. I got, don't like to use my old, uh, good one. Keep it in the keep it in its case. Yeah, fifty-five or sixty degrees, something like that. Seemed to work very well on the other ones, so I stuck with it. Any steeper, you can't weld here. Uh, and in this case, I needed to keep it up as much as possible for uh, clearance purposes. So we got uh, two by two, or I mean three inch, three by three tubing here. Uh, I think this is, uh, must be three sixteenths. 10 gauge base for it and of course I already showed you the the shelf and it fits right down in, there in the ammo can and uh, that was the last piece I welded on so we got uh, four quarter inch rods and that'll set down right on there like that and uh, I'm a little a little tight on space here um, I'm probably gonna. Well, I know I'm gonna have to build because I've already gone too far. I'm gonna have to build a removable top for this. I think we're gonna. I'm just going to do. Uh, eh. the, like we did on our uh, four inch. Well, here's my other piece here. Anyway, I, I had. Cut these two pieces out for the four inch, but uh, somewhere along the line, my measurements are a little bit off. Um, I made this is quarter inch. I made the slots uh, three eighths.
but I, I, I need to go back in and I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten that up probably take 75 thousandths out of each one of those slots make it fit a little tighter uh, I made these 3d puzzles out of uh, I don't know dinosaurs and things like that and I, I can get real close but uh, when you have to start grinding all them slots it takes up too much time and uh, I remember uh, one of them I did uh, you know you got 50 pieces and you got to sit there and file every one of those with the hand files to to get them to fit right <clears throat> so it, it takes a little trial and error so to speak to I mean I know my kerf width and width of the metal but what's on paper it doesn't always relate to to the steel and the, when the plasma cutter cuts I doubt you'll be able to see this on the uh, if you know what you're looking for this side is higher than this side it doesn't cut a perfectly 90 degrees it actually tapers that's just uh, the nature of the beast, so to speak. So there you go. You have a whole uh, what you you want a, a quarter inch wide hole, but with that taper in there, you got to account for that or uh, take a grinder in there and try to grind that out. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably take it down to like 300 thousandths and uh, see if we can't tighten that up a little bit. Then, uh, I was looking at uh, some uh, ceramic insulation and uh, so... I'll be putting that in around the sides and uh, add a sheet metal, uh, come in here, across the top and the side. So actually I just need to one across the top and then a vertical piece here. Put the insulation in there, set that down in there and uh, weld it on. That'll hold this in solid. and. insulate uh, the ammo can from the heat so that uh, you know you can set this on a wooden table or whatever and not worry about catching it on fire so that's where we're at on this I don't know how well the, you're starting to get kind of small here um, I guess the smaller the stove they just throw smaller uh, smaller twigs in there to you know this just be something to heat a pot of coffee or a quart pan full of soup or something like that but it'll be uh, something very small portable lightweight uh, compact and uh, sealed up in these cans. I, I ended up getting 12 of these off of an auction here last week. Uh, got a pretty good deal on them, so got plenty of cans to play with. Well, I'm going to call it good for the evening. I got to go do some work, and a friend just called wanted me to cut stop by and pay him a visit here in a half hour, so I wanted to hurry up and uh, get the shot so I can uh, I'll get this uploaded tonight and uh, we'll start another uh, video series. Thanks for watching.